Here are some must-have YouTube extensions for both Chrome and Firefox-based browsers. Most of these are open source with GitHub repos. Links for all will be in the description. I can't stand YouTube Shorts, and you probably can't stand them either. With Hide YouTube Shorts, you can remove shorts from showing up on your feed and the Shorts link on the left side menu. Unhook is an extension that lets you remove all sorts of elements from the site. You can hide things like the live chat, recommended videos, playlists, end screens and cards, annotations, mixes, comments, notification bell, the explore and trending tabs, even the entire home feed. Enhancer for YouTube does just what it says. It enhances the user experience. It's the Swiss Army knife of YouTube extensions. With Enhancer for YouTube, you can change the look and feel of YouTube with custom themes button controls, set custom options for ads, playback, speed, volume, autoplay, and more. As you can see, there are a ton of options. And what's nice is you can easily export and import all your settings. PocketTube is an extension that lets you manage and organize all your subscriptions. You can create categories for your subs, view the videos by date, unwatched, live, scheduled, or just shorts. If you have a ton of subscriptions, this is a great way to organize them and keep up to date with channels you subscribe to, but that YouTube rarely shows in your feed. It's free, but some features such as the tweet deck like UI is behind their Patreon page. I've done a video on PocketTube in the past, so check out that video to learn what all it can do. In addition to other content blocking tools, Sponsor Block is arguably one of the best extensions for YouTube. With it, videos will automatically skip sponsored, self-promotion, and other annoying, time-wasting portions of a video. It's entirely community-driven, and it works so well. If you're not paying attention to the video, you won't even notice the skipped segments. It has various options that let you choose what type of segments to skip. You don't even have to skip sponsored portions. You can just skip self-promotions and other annoying bits. I've done a video on Sponsor Block in the past as well, so check out that video to learn more. Speaking of Sponsor Block, Dero is a new extension by the same developer. Dero replaces the clickbaity titles and thumbnails with better crowdsourced titles and thumbs. It's the most recent YouTube extension I've started using, and I'm quite pleased with the results. Tamper Monkey is one of the oldest extensions on the web. While not specifically for YouTube, it allows you to install custom JavaScript to modify websites. In this case, the auto-playing trailers on a channel's homepage. I absolutely hate the trailer videos, and they play even if I have autoplay disabled in the browser. This user script I found can be installed in an extension like Tamper Monkey, and it will disable trailers from playing. YouTube removed the dislikes count but you can get it back with return YouTube dislikes. Keep in mind that this extension keeps track of dislikes of others who also use the extension, so the ratio may be off. Though, I found it's fairly accurate in relation to the video's topic, especially controversial ones. Lastly and easily, my absolute favorite extension on YouTube is BlockTube. I don't know how well known it is, but it's extremely invaluable to me. You see, one day, YouTube kept showing me the Hodge twins, and despite telling YouTube to stop showing me these clowns, I kept seeing them in all their spin-off channels. Then I discovered BlockTube. With BlockTube, you can hide videos, whole channels in their videos, or even hide videos with certain words in the title and comments. It's got some other options as well, such as blocking YouTube movies, shorts, the explore page, and auto-generated playlists. A lot of these options are also available in Enhancer for YouTube. And what's nice is you can export your settings so you never lose your channel and video block list. 